Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's gonna be a super quick introduction, but if you like to hear someone talk about cats, rats, dogs, and mostly reptiles, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Today I've got my isopods pulled out and I just wanted to show you real quick how easy isopods are to care for and what I do in a week for them. So sometimes I feed them fresh vegetables, especially zucchini, but today I'm going to put some of this in there and then just a little bit of dechlorinated treated water from a spray bottle. First up are going to be my dairy cows. They're just in a little tub like this. I open up the lid. Um, they don't usually like light and this is a lot of light for them. So my dairy cows are usually buried. They're in here somewhere. Well, that was uneventful. But they're in here, I promise. They're fine, they're just deep in there. So I'm just going to spray it down like so. And like I said, you only have to do this about once a week with isopods. It's super, super low maintenance and easy. These are going to eventually, um, oh, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but he came out. Um, eventually they're going to go into the reptile enclosures. It's just going to be a little bit. Um, we're going to upgrade them and we're moving. So this should be the last video uploaded before I start showing you how I am planning on moving all my animals. Maybe a couple more. I'm filming a little bit early. These are going to be my powder blues. And again, they're hiding. I really think this bright light was like a warning to them. Yeah, look at all those guys. Look at all those guys. They're definitely in there. Put that back there. Same thing. A good little spray down and drop a good amount of food in there. So even though we didn't see the dairy cows except for one, they do eat all their food. So I do know they're in there and thriving. They'll also eat some of the leaves and things like that. <clears throat> like they can eat on their substrate and everything. So they're kind of cool like that. These are going to be my zebras. I don't ever see very many of these guys. So it would be super cool to see them today. Oh. As I say that, there's two, and they're fairly good size. These guys are kind of, oh, there's one running around. These guys are kind of like the dairy cow in the sense that they like to dig and be burrowed a lot of the time. So, but again, I know they're eating, and if I throw zucchini in there, the zucchini, like they get one little sliver and it's gone within a day in all my isopods. Little, I guess, shoe boxes, really. And then the last of my isopod collection are going to be my powder orange. You guys get ready because these guys are usually wild. Yeah, there's a ton of these. A ton of them, as you can see. There actually looks to be a little bit of fungus growing in here. So what I'm going to do is spray it down and feed them. And then tomorrow, because it's actually really, really late tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to have to change all that out. Probably bake that corkwood that's in there. Um, I think this one probably just got a little too damp. But it doesn't seem to be hurting them any whoops that was a lot of food but I promise these guys will eat it I definitely have more of these than I do any of the others as you can see by how many are just out and about and there's always a million babies in here um, I really need to upgrade them to a little bit bigger these are the ones I think are going to go into the White's tree frog enclosure they're going to be the first ones I dump in there since they're doing so well but that's pretty much the video that's all i have to do and then i'm going to go put them back in the closet up on a shelf until we move <laughs> 